Hey, I'm Ben, and today we're gonna to be looking at the new PBR map generator that Clo just dropped with their newest version, 2024.1.88. With just a single picture, you'll be able to create all of your texture maps within Clo with just a single button. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna hop into Clo here. I have a image that I took with my camera that is up on the screen right now. So this is a plain weave fabric. I've taken this picture, which will be on my website. The link is in the description for you to download it and follow along. And the picture on the right that you're seeing is the raw image straight out of my camera. And on the left, I've processed that image in Adobe Substance Sampler that allows it to be repeatable and kind of flattens it out, removes any extra shadows or anything like that. So this is the one we're gonna be using. And then I'm also going to make a comparison with this original image, just so that way we can see. All right, so we're over here in Clo now and we're gonna be working with this light blue crop jacket. And the fabric that's already on here is that same image that was processed with Substance Sampler. So I have all the maps already set up. So we're gonna be using that when you can find this file also on my website. And we're just gonna click on our texture here and we're just gonna create a copy of it because we wanna keep as much of this as we can. So I'm gonna delete all these other maps out of here. So that way we're starting from scratch. But we're gonna keep our presets and our fabric thickness so that way that remains the same between the two. Now we're just going to select all of these pattern pieces and hit the down arrow so that way we can assign to selected pattern pieces and that's gonna put that new fabric that we just created onto our pieces. Over in my file browser, I've got my image which you can download online and we're just gonna drag this base color straight into the texture for the main color there. And you can see that the scale is a little bit off so uh, if we go back to our original we can look at what that transformation was, which was 13.7%. So we're just gonna match that on here, type that in, and now we've got the right scale for our texture for tiling. And then at this point, it's really easy. We're just gonna scroll through all these different maps and click this generate button, which is gonna pull that information from that original picture into all of these other maps. So we're gonna do normal displacement, roughness and metalness. And we're gonna skip opacity because I'm, it's a fully opaque plane weave, so we don't need that information. Definitely something I wanna play with later. So when we're working with custom PBR textures in Clo, Clo defaults your amount value of your displacement map to zero. So you're gonna to have to go in and play with this value depending on what fabric you're working with. Because I'm working with a lightweight, thin, plain weave fabric, I'm gonna go with a pretty low value of 0.1. But if you're working with like a high pile fleece, you're gonna to need to go up higher than that, maybe to, to one or something. And it's important to note that the displacement map is affecting your geometry, so that's why you have to play with this value to tell the system how much to change your geometry and height, so that way it can give the proper look to it. So to do that, we're just gonna go to our displacement map and you're gonna see that right here it's set to zero and we're just gonna change this to 0.1 for what we're doing. And everything else we're gonna leave the same, normal map at 10 intensity, everything else should be fine. So, so now that we have that all set up, I'm gonna do the same exact thing with that other image that's raw straight out of my camera so that way we can get a comparison. And then I'm gonna render all these out and let's take a look at them. All right, now that we've given it some time to render, we've got three different images here. The left is straight out of Substance Sampler generated in there. The middle one is using that seamless image that I created and then generated in Clo. And the far right one is from Clo as well using the raw image straight out of my camera, which you can definitely see looks pretty muddy, definitely pixelated and not looking that great. This one from Clo with the repeated image looks great and super crisp and I'm super stoked on how that turned out. And the substance sample we're on definitely has a pretty flat appearance when you compare it to um, this middle one here. And then I wanted to look at it from a full 
blown out view, a little zoomed out, so that way I could see it for what I usually present to my clients. And I really like this new generated texture from Clo, which is this middle panel here. It looks really nice. It's got some good detail, definitely a lot more realistic. The one from S Sampler is a little bit flat actually, and um, I've been happy with it, but it kind of is starting to look rubbery now, especially when you compare it to what Clo is offering. And this one straight from the picture looks better when you're zoomed out, I think, but it's still definitely pixelated and kind of grainy. And then you can see, especially up the sleeve here, where we've got our seam running for the uh, tiling texture that wasn't tiled. So um, definitely kind of run into that error if you're not going through that extra step of, of tiling your image. All right, so we have just created some PBR generated textures using Clo's new feature, and I gotta say, I'm super happy with it. It looks pretty impressive, and it's so easy to use, so I'm definitely gonna be adding it into my workflow going forward. Uh, I still am going to produce my tileable color image off of Substance Sampler because that works so well and is so easy to do. And if you're curious how I do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I do plan on making a video of that shortly. And let me know if you have any questions below. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time.